What is up, everybody? This is the first episode of Call of Duty Black Ops. No, not two. Two sucks balls. But yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is pick up a few easy trophies. I'm going to have to kind of describe these. The bust out of the chair, just spam L2 and R2, and you'll pick up a trophy for that. And then there's a trophy for playing Zork at the terminal. This is the, the, this is the uh, terminal here. All you got to do is type in Zork, and you pick up that trophy. There's the uh, trophy for breaking out of the chair, just ask me nicely. And then, once I type in Zork here, couldn't see where the K was because of the trophy coming up. You type that in, and you exit the terminal. Then you'll get the trophy eaten by a Gru? Eaten by a Gru, I think? Something really weird like that. I don't know. Makes no sense to me. Eaten by a Gru, okay. Don't know what a Gru is. I never actually played that game, it's just like a text adventure. But then, uh, to get the first Zombies map, you can pick up two trophies really easily. Type in DOA for Dead Ops Arcade. And you get a nice, like, two-stick shooter game here. And it's a lot of fun. Like, if you just ever want to play this game for fun, I highly recommend this. So here it is, basically. Alright, so you get a trophy just for playing it. It's called Insert Coin. But then you can get another trophy called Easy Rhino. Very simply, if you just do... <laughs> If you can play in fast motion like this. Now, well, all you gotta do is loop them up. And the whole premise of the trophy is to speed through 20 enemies. So there's 30 on the screen here. So you just loop them like this. And then, when they're all in line, speed boost. And after a little bit, you'll have that trophy. But yeah, that's all I pretty much need to describe about Black Ops. Now I'm just gonna go to the campaign, get the first mission done, find all the intel. And I gotta play through it on Veteran to get all the uh, trophies. And yeah, that's basically going to be the rest of the uh, video here. And I'm going to talk about something random as always, so hopefully you enjoy. Here goes. So as you may already know from previous videos, I'm from New Jersey. And uh, everyone gives New Jerseyans a bad rap because of Jersey Shore and the Real Housewives of Jersey and all this crap. But... The only thing that really applies that I think is true is how bad of drivers we are. I've been driving for about a year, and I've been in four near accidents. One of which would have been my fault. Actually, two. Yeah, yeah, two of them. So I guess I fall in that category of bad drivers as well. But I'll just go a few... Wow. I'll just go through a few of those stories for you right now. Because I think they're pretty entertaining. And it's fun to laugh at other people. But anyway, the, f the most violent accident I would have been a part of, uh, this would have been pretty bad. And I think it, I can tell whose fault it was. I'm thinking it was more on me. But yeah, I, I guess I'll let you judge. Okay, so I'm pulling out of my school parking lot, you know, driving to school. Uh, I was a senior last year, so we got the privilege of driving to school, which is great. Because if you wanted to stay after or go somewhere right after school, your car was right there and you could head out. But, since I go to a high school of 3,000 kids, there are a lot of cars, even for seniors. Like, there's probably, I think there's 340 parking spots or something. So a lot of people try to leave at the same time. So one day I was hanging out after school, and I needed to move my car to another parking lot because I needed to go there to meet up with some people. So, I go to leave the parking lot where I park and the traffic was so far backed up I was like running a little late and the traffic was already like backed up probably past the parking lot another 50 feet and it's just horrible and there's there's a reason that there's a sign it says no turn you can't make a left turn right after school lets out but you know kids do it anyway and they pull out but I never understood why that was there, so I was like, whatever, I'll just make this left turn because the parking lot's right to the left. I'm not going to make a right and go two miles out of my way to get back in this parking lot and wait in all that traffic. So I'm pulling out of the parking lot, and I get in like the left turn lane. I pass everyone waiting in line on the right. Felt like a dick. So I pass everybody, and I go to make the left turn, but the traffic's there. So I need to wait for someone to let me out. So then my buddy Christian's in the car with me, and... He sees his friend Matt. So, Matt sees Christian. They, like, do some stupid wave or something. I don't know what they did. But then, so Matt let us out. I was like, cool. Let's go. So we start pulling out. 
He's letting us go, but we have to pull through that line of traffic and make the left. But I don't look to the right. I just pull out to the left because I figured, oh, Matt wouldn't let us go out in front of a car. So we make the left. And then there's a car to the right of us driving in the grass. And Christian's like, what the hell is that person doing in the grass? Then it both hit us. We pulled out right in front of this freaking car. And they had to swerve off to the right just to dodge us. So, she swerved off, missed the ditch, thank god, this woman. And she was in the grass, kept driving. And then she cut back into the left, back into the lane in front of us. And, I, I don't know if she was just scared for her life, or like, she was happy she was alive, but she had like, no emotion on her face, so I couldn't tell if like, she was speeding and that's why that almost happened. Or if I just, obliviously pulled out in front of her. I don't know. All I know is that if she would have freaking kept going and wouldn't have swerved off into the grass or had nowhere to swerve, we would have gotten T-boned so hard on Christian's door. And we probably would have died. Like, <laughs> that was terrible. Oh my god. But yeah, that's the first one. I have another one from leaving school as well. So this time, it was raining out a little bit. And pulling out of the same school parking lot. But I don't make the left this time. This is after this happened, so I stopped making that left. And I started going to the right. So, I'm in the right lane. And I'm waiting in that freaking huge line of traffic. There's an intersection up ahead a little bit. A three-way intersection. So, I, I get all the way through the traffic. My buddy Stifler. Yes, Stifler. His name was cool before American Pie, guys. But yeah, so Stifler is in the car with me. And... We're sitting at this intersection, still like drizzling a little bit, and there are just cars coming and coming and coming and coming, and there was, I waited there for a good minute, and I was starting to get pissed off, you know, because I'm impatient when it comes to driving, people tick me off, so I'm sitting there, and there's this, there's like this gap that I think I can make, and there's a truck coming the other way, and another truck coming the other way, so I'm like, screw it. I freaking, I freaking punch it, right? And I have a 96 Mustang GT, so handling not as forte. So I hit the gas, and oh my god, my back tires start spinning. I start hydroplaning. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, I can't stop now, or I'm gonna stop in the middle of the intersection and get wailed by one of these trucks. So I just keep going. My back end is completely out. I'm sideways in the middle of the road. I'm trying to save it. Uh, but, of course, you know, you don't really know how to react in that situation. So I oversteer the crap out of it. I oversteer it to the right, and then it finally gets traction, and I shoot off to the right, almost at the curve. I swerve back to the left, and I kept going. Thank God this truck driver that was behind me noticed me ahead of time, or I would have died again. I bet that after listening to these two stories, you're like, wow, this kid is a horrible driver, man. Like, how do you get in so many near accidents? But, the rest of them, I believe, weren't my fault. One of them, I'm sure, wasn't my fault. And I guess I'll go over that one. So, you know, I live in, like, a really rich county. You know, I wouldn't say my family is rich. But, I live in a rich county with just, like, freaking... Like, pretty much picture the Real Housewives in New Jersey, and that's who you got. Like, blonde riddled with plastic surgery like they're, they're just the worst but uh so i don't even know where it was i was somewhere in my town and i was waiting at an intersection but when i was pulling up to the intersection there's two there's like two lanes that you can go across in the intersection but the right lane dies out across the intersection and then you have to merge into the left so there's like seven people waiting in line to the left I get in the right lane because I want to make the light. And so I get in the right lane. And there's this woman in the suburban, like two cars back from me. Looks this is the housewife right here. But yeah, so I get I get in the right lane, turns green, I make it across. But I'm not a jerk that'll try to beat everybody and like punch it and get ahead of them. So I let the guy on my left get in front of me. I get like he goes. Then I slow down so I can merge in front of, like, behind him. So then, this woman, though, in this SUV, I guess she was like, wow, look at this kid in the Mustang. He's, you know, he's just like a kid doesn't know how to drive. So, 
she just keeps right on it. Like, I have three quarters of my car in front of her, in front of hers. Do you think she'd let up? No. No, she does not let up. So, I'm trying to merge in. She doesn't let up at all. I have to swerve into the shoulder just to freaking, like, I couldn't believe it. She would have, like, T-boned me, I think, if I would have just kept going. She would have just kept going and tried to spin me or something. Like, she was on a mission. And, you know, there's that whole stereotype that women don't know how to drive. And I think it's women just like that. Middle-aged, freaking aristocratic women that don't care. They're little Jersey soccer moms or something like that. It was horrible. I couldn't believe that she was being that aggressive when I wasn't trying to blow past people, seeing that I let a guy go. And I wasn't just trying to get ahead in the intersection. She was just, she was just so irritating. I don't think I ever felt so much hatred for somebody that I didn't know. Like, that was ridiculous. I get so pissed off when I drive, but that's one of the most pissed off I've ever been. If I would've gotten in an accident, she would've, oh my god. And you know what's the worst part about that is, that would've looked like my fault. It would've been the kid in the freaking Mustang was driving too aggressive, and this little uh, innocent Jersey mom would've gotten off with it. You know, even though it would've been her fault. I guess she could have, like, when the cop showed up, showed uh, showed a little bit of her uh, plastic surgery fake boobs, and uh, the cop would be all over that. And she'd get off with it. And that's what sucks. And no one would believe me if I said, oh, she freaking wouldn't let up, and I was just trying to get in. You know, unless someone stayed behind, but I highly doubt that would have happened. Like, no car is going to stop on their commute. And I understand that. But yeah, that freaking sucked. I couldn't stand that woman. And the last near accident I've been a part of was pretty recent. I actually think it was the last day of school, so this was within this month. So, this month? Uh, yeah, it was within this month. So, again, Stifler's in my car. He's just like a freaking bad luck charm for me, I swear. But, again, Stifler's in my car. We're heading back to school because he forgot to turn in one of his textbooks. And he wouldn't have been able to graduate if he didn't turn in that textbook. So, we're back on our way to school, and we have traffic circles in our town. If you don't know what a traffic circle is, you're probably like the rest of America that's normal, and doesn't have freaking traffic circles. But I like them because you just continue driving, and it's like, instead of an intersection, it's just a circle. So you can just continue driving, and just, you don't lose any speed, and yeah. But, I'm behind this woman, and there's this huge line of cars coming. We're going around the circle. There's this huge line of cars coming, I'm like, crap. We gotta try to beat these cars, or I'm gonna be sitting here for, like, a minute and a half. Because, you know, it was, like, middle of, like, it was, it was sort of rush hour. So, I'm looking off to the right. I'm like, alright, gotta see where, gotta see if I can make this opening, basically. So, I'm looking off to the right, looking off to the right. I keep getting closer and closer. This woman's pretty far ahead of me at this point, probably, like, 50 feet ahead. She, she can make this. I'm like, alright, she's gonna go. I'm looking off to the right. I'm like... You know what? I can make this. I got this. So I speed up a little bit. And then I look to the left. And she stopped there. She's freaking stopped. So I slam on the brakes. I lock it up. First time I ever locked up my car right there. Lock it up. And I stop like three inches behind her bumper. And oh my gosh. So I looked at Stifler and I was like, well, the brakes work. <laughs> He's like, I thought you were going to hit her, man. And I was actually surprised I didn't. But it's ridiculous. She she probably sat there, stopped for a good three seconds. Like you you can go. It's a traffic circle. You have the yield, but you can just keep going. I don't know. She must have been out of state or something and didn't know how to drive a circle. I could see that being the case. But if she's from the area and she does that, she's just asking to get rear-ended. I don't know. But once again, that one was my fault, I guess. You know. But yeah, this this commentary is wrapping up here. It's got like 30 seconds left. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I'm just trying to prove that New Jerseyans are bad drivers. And unfortunately, almost all the stories I brought up were my fault. Were like my fault. So maybe it's just me. I don't know. But hopefully you enjoyed. Here is uh, Mason going to jump off, clear the runway. This game's intense. I love it, man. But uh, yeah, so I'm out pretty much. And uh, I didn't record at the end here. And I unlocked the trophy, so you missed that. But that's just because I beat the mission. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.